So what have you noticed on uh, Chinese Muslims? I, I'm so I'm so happy to to be here. You know, it's my first time. But uh, I want to ask, like, how do you feel to be a Muslim, like in China? Hi my people, today I'm back with another special episode. So last time I was in Urumuchi and people say China Muslims are not free to worship and everything. So today I'm in Wuhan and today we are going to a mosque. We are going to see how it is. We are going to see how many people are coming, foreigners, Chinese. And I want to show you the reality about Muslims, the religion in China. So let me show you. So here I'm before I enter. You're good, you're good. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> So uh, I'm here, like this is the entrance, we can just buy the fruits, you can buy bananas and then uh, after here we continue, there are a lot of things you can buy and the mosque is in front of us. So I'm here, I'm going to show the way it is, I'm going to show the reality, stay, if you're interested, wait and see like at the mosque, wait and see the way worship, people worship in China, don't leave, let's go. Uh, let me go in. Let me show you uh, the way it is. So from here, people can, like, you can buy different banners, like bread, like different styles. Yeah, this is this type of bread. And we are just going in. We are going to most. Uh, we are still waiting for 15 minutes. Then we can start. So I want to show you the way there are many people. Assalamu alaikum. Like here, like you see, like I want to show you the reality of people. People sometimes they say like uh, in Islam, like in China, Muslims are not free. They they can't worship. But all these people you can see here are, are Chinese. And even here, if you wanna buy, if you wanna buy meat, you can buy here. So we are coming. We are coming to mosque. So now I'm in mosque. So So this is the way uh, we have many people here like a lot So no one that we got the other things that we have to try so, because people a lot, some people even can come and play here. So I want just to show the way uh, people have freedom to worship. You see, people a lot. We have Chinese Muslims here. You can buy like this man is selling some chicken, halal chicken. If you want to buy chicken, 
uh, this place is mainly for fruits. So now I'm with yes sir. Uh, nice so, you, bro. Uh, I'm so I'm so happy to to be here. You know, it's my first time. But uh, I want to ask, like, how do you feel to be a Muslim, like in China? Oh, it's a uh, it's a little bit convenient, you know, because mm -hmm. you, we are going. We came from a country full of Muslims mm -hmm. and came here. We thought, to, uh, like, we won't we won't like find the Muslim community or something about the Muslims. So when we came here, I think. We relaxed a little bit, you know, yeah. and uh, that's it. So some, some people say like a Muslim, like in China, you can't be a Muslim, you can't be a Christian because oh. the government is an atheist. So do, do you think it's true, it's true or maybe here in like, for how long have you been in China first? How long? Uh, yeah. It's about one year and a half. I'm so, going to finish uh, the half in this, uh, in this month. So for one year and a half, uh. do you feel like a Muslim are free in China? Uh, yeah, of course, you know. You have the free, the, like uh, the speech, free, freedom speech. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, we can communicate with others. There is no like, uh, uh, there is no conflict between uh, the, like the Muslims religions. or uh, Christians Christian. or atheists. Everything is peace here. So what, what can you tell uh, outside world? What can you tell people, maybe Western countries ah, who have never been to China, yeah. but how uh, was they Welcome. meet that? Welcome to China. Don't be afraid of anything. The people here are nice. No one is gonna touch you. The, it's very safe. Don't worry, just came, just come and everything will be okay. It's nice to meet you, man. Ah, nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Bash. Yeah. So, how do you feel to be a Muslim in China? Actually, it's not really easy, mm -hmm. but uh, especially a place to, to pray, mm -hmm. like the place we usually play is not common. Mm -hmm. So, if you see a place like this, it's very, very so excited. So, so when you compare this, like uh, Muslims in China and Muslims in Nigeria, what can you say, like, in difference in terms of freedom and everything? Do you no, think it's actually, the same? Actually, or just... yeah, you can even compare them. You know, back home in Africa, I mean, Nigeria to specify, uh, it's a freedom of, you know, everything, you know? But uh -huh. well, here it's restricted. There's a restriction. So you can't do, practice your religion, you know, in the public, in some cases. So yeah. whenever you want to pray, you have to look for a place that they have a mosque, and the mosque is not actually common. So you need to look for the place that is allowed to pray, especially like this place. So this place is like, you just come once in a week. So, so like I hear it means like, for example, if you want to come like on on Tuesday, mosque will be closed or still it's open, you can come and... Uh, Actually, we only come in Friday to pray here and on Tuesday, uh, is the mosque usually, yes, they pray here, but maybe because of the distance, the location, some, some other things, mm -hmm. we, we make it to be like every week we come to pray, understand, because it's not close to us. Although every Muslim is allowed to pray five times in a day, right? Yeah. So we pray five times in a day, but today as a Friday is the most important day. So even though you are not able to pray in the, in the congregations every day, but the five times, I mean the Friday prayer today is very important. So that is why all the Muslims have to gather in a place like this to pray together. Yeah. So what have you noticed on uh, Chinese Muslims? Yeah, like, Chinese Muslims, yeah. they are, you know, they are not too exposed to Islam, but they are trying to understand understand the religions according to, I mean, on their own way, right? So mm -hmm. when they come to pray, they try to, you know, learn or work one or two things from the foreigners and, you know, and praying together with the foreigners is so excited to them, like they feel happy to see foreigners playing with them. So I think they learn something from us or we learn something from each other as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what can you tell like outside the world? Like, when, like, you know, I feel like most of the people who have never been to China, they say if you are Muslim in China, maybe government will be harsh on you, government will not give you freedom. Like for you, I know you have been in China for a long time. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. I've been in China for So, so what, what can you tell those people outside? Like, what's, what's the reality have you seen here? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, the fact is that you should know where to pray and where not to pray. Like, when there's a mosque, then you look for people who knows where the location of the mosque, then you can actually follow them to pray there. And it's not like, uh, 
is forbidden to practice your, your religion, right? Mm -hmm. But you should know it has a limit to it. So you cannot just go and start praying in the public in China. Mm -hmm. so there is a specific place for the worshiping. So you have to locate the place to pray, right? So that is one thing about so it's not like when you are foreigners, you come, you can have your freedom, but you need some rules and regulations. You need to apply. So it's the same like a Chinese citizens. You have to follow the yeah, rules. Exactly. Then. So you need to follow the rules and the regulations. So that's it. Nothing else. Very free, right? It was nice to have you, man. All right. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here, like, even you can buy bread. Yeah, even you can buy bread. I will check later. Fruits. And uh, you can see. And it's very cheap as well. And these are chickens. These chickens is halal. So do you mean like uh, even like everything? Uh, why why is everything cheap then here? Is it because there's a deduction or what? Yeah, it's actually it's some some kind of it's specific for people who eat halal food, right? So uh -huh. they knew that the foreigners usually come here to buy food and they try to make it more cheaper. And the something I've seen is like, uh, yeah, you can try even like, maybe sometimes they give you free, they say test, yes, and then they buy. they give you free because they know that um, we are all Muslims and uh, whenever you want to find something, you have to come to this place. Oh. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so here yeah, it's only like uh, beef and uh, like ram. Uh, uh -huh. We have beef here. Uh -huh. The other place over there is. Uh, yeah. Let's check. Yeah, you can see this is a thing. Yeah, beef. Beef. Yeah. And this is mutton. So which one is not expensive when you buy like this meat? Let's ask us. Uh, you buy it, you slice it to pieces and put it in the cage on the weight and try to evaluate your price. How much did they say? For cage, right? For cage. Indeed, uh, uh, half, half, half cage. Half cage yeah. How much here? Which one? Like uh, this uh, lamb, like how much they charge? Uh, no, no, yeah. the other one, the other one. Yeah, it's okay. So guys, this is the end of the video. Please let me know what do you think about Muslims in China and religion in general in China.